Four vans and five police cars, plus the undercovers who are scurried away like dogs in the night. God knows what the cost is. I take it you're annoyed about it. I'm fucking livid. It's a really fortune. This is actually a set of shop keys, believe it or not. And I think you'll find that if I try this key and this lock, <coughs> we may actually just get in. How about that? Right, here we go. The tour starts from here. Come in and be careful of the wet paint. Bong Chuff is here. We, we, we make a steady turnover with legitimate income. Yeah, but the main reasons for Bong Chuff are a front for the coffee shop. Um, and a lookout point for the coffee shop. Now, the day that will inevitably happen when the police come through that door with a warrant, I simply throw the switch, put the white lights on, and everybody in the coffee shop knows what's happening out here. The police are here with a warrant. You walk through the airlock, and you come through the curtains, and finally now you're in the coffee shop. Right, it's a bit cluttered, but bear with me. So then, Chris, how long have you actually been open for now? Uh, we opened the head shop three weeks ago yesterday. And uh, the coffee shop is, uh, as you can hear in the background, not officially open, but is open. Hello, Vic. How you doing, mate? Hello there, how are you? Hello. So, uh, whereabouts are we then, at the moment? Well, we're in, um, we're, in, we're in what I think is now Britain's only upfront coffee shop, Quantum Leaf, in Worthing. Hi, Ali. So, uh, how long has it been up and running for? Uh, close of business tomorrow will be exactly four calendar months. I think we're now boasting uh, 120 days. And uh, are you being very open about what you're actually offering on this? If you want to have a look here, we've got our little menu board. Uh, we've got power plant. We've got something called Q-Mist, which is a name which is... power plant, that's good. That's, uh, this is very nice. You know, we can't cope with the amount of people that are coming in the door, simply. Uh, have you had any problems from any of the uh, local people? Uh, no, we've had a few threats from some of the soap bar dealers. Apparently they're coming in to smash the place up, but... We've got a lot of friends at the coffee shop who are prepared to help and look after us, so we seem to be okay really now. Yeah. So from a few months ago then, are you happy with how quickly it's grown? Or are you concerned it's going too fast? A bit of each maybe, but um, I'm amazed. We're now, our, our little our thing up there, the notice board up there. Have a look at that, look up there quickly, quickly. I'm not complaining. No. And what about police? I heard that they actually came into the shop the other day to ask. For they asked if uh, it was still the same owner, and they said they were told it was still the same owner, but he wasn't here while I was out at the time. And they went away quite happy. Yeah. I wondered at the time if they were asking because they needed the name for the search warrant, but it doesn't seem so. One. One. You've been arrested. You know what, mate? What are you being arrested for? A joint's worth of gear. Joint's worth of gear. Joint's so why are you not in custody then? She is in custody. Fact, oh, she is. I'm just I'm a nice copper. I'm letting her have a cigarette. <laughs> so um, are you going to accept a caution or are you going to do? Well, I've been told to accept a caution to get out today, but. Right. I'm not sure and what yet. do you think about accepting a caution for taking this police work? No, definitely not. No? Definitely not. Yeah. Skins, totally not. But certainly, with a lot of police officers that I filmed off duty, etc., they believe it. Certainly they all have members. different views, don't they? They all have yeah. different views, definitely. What some of them agree with it, some of them right, don't. Right, what I'm, what I'm not going to have, though, is, is an interview taking place. Yeah. I am being nice by letting Lisa have a cigarette, okay. but I'm not going to have an interview take place, okay? Fair enough, okay. Thanks a lot, and good luck, okay? Free right. the weed, man. Take care. Camera! Camera! Oh, oh, camera on him! 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 Camera on
I'm allowed by law, right. self defense, right. necessity, him. necessity, if he pushes him again. It's a line of defense. Yeah. 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 Just shoved him, walked straight through, Lord Mack, typical bloody fascist pig, and shoved him out of the way as if he was nothing. He's in the public domain, he's entitled to be where he's standing. No idea. Everything was gone before they came because everybody knew they were coming. Simple as that. Their own sort smoke here from other forces in Italy, usually Brighton. We have police officers here, council officers, local authority councillors. We have doctors, estate agents. This is not full of druggies. This is full of ordinary people. Hence the necessity for these people to actually tell us they're coming. It'd be too embarrassing for them to come in here on any other day unannounced because they would find their own. And the, the Rollers Road is dying because all the pensions, etc. Just think they're going to come down here and they're just going to be injected with heroin. You know, yeah. I mean that's what old people think. Drugs must be heroin, must be crack. Yeah. You know, whereas if the police just quietly came in here without, you know, cars and all this business, I mean it's just ridiculous. You would only have to be with Chris's. Chris, is it? I'm Andrew? sorry. <laughs> who actually I am? It's Paul. It's Paul, Paul Green, 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 right? Yeah, that's Paul. okay. Yeah, he's okay. We speak with Chris. Is, is Chris, Chris will okay Chris that. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, Chris is gone. Chris, Chris is already gone. I see him going in the van. Yes. Uh, in that case, I'll take the third and allow this gentleman in. Hold on a second. Let me just. just I'll right. 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 run the security. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's indoors and apparently has got no comment to make to anybody, be it the public or you, on this whole matter. Why has he not? He's in charge. He's got no liable. Well, here he is. It's him. It's, it's the guy. He's here. He's here and he tells us he's got nothing to say on the whole issue. He's in charge. If he's got nothing to say, who the hell has? Who does he represent? Uh, has Chris been arrested? Yes. Has he? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's been arrested. Well, he's been I think he's gone back to his house uh, with, with the officers. <laughs> yes. Yes, he has. What's he been arrested for? Do we know? Pods and um, Chris has been arrested. Do we know what for? I don't know what for. Oh, yeah, Have Have we got, I'm coming yeah, uh, I'm not quite happy, but the police won't let you in at the moment. Frank sniffer dog sniffing at the moment. As, as soon as they give us sort of access, to, they say they'll let me in. Right, listen, hang on a minute. How come Mike is grabbing me? Come on, come on, come on. Can you be civil to you and explain why? Yes. Explain to the inspector why he wants to go around to make sure everything's okay, right? We don't want everyone walking in because it clearly just clouds the place. He's just looking okay. after. Exactly. He's looking after. Right. Pacify the biggest one, yeah? Yeah, that's that's, that's, yeah, that's okay. what it is. Well, yeah. I don't say, say, I'm right. speaking. Okay. I'm in the interest of the shop. I work in the front shop. If that officer had to come and push the front, none of this would have happened now. Please. He's alright now, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you've let him in. That's why you've let him in. Not being funny. Not being funny, but I want to get in the front shop so I can the front shop. He's coming back out. He can explain to you why, can't he? Well, no. Yeah. Not, I won't explain by Mike, I won't explain by the officers. No, listen, I'll tell you, come out. Uh. Will I be able to go in there, Mike? Uh, no. They're in there searching, they're going through the office, they're, they're, you know, obviously holding people that they shouldn't be holding and doing everything else that they shouldn't be doing, they shouldn't be here in the first place. But the reason they've let me in is just to verify that no, that, that the police aren't actually breaking the law as such. Mike, they could have broken the law in the last, they've been in there an hour. Before they let you in, they could have broken the law. They, 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 the they, they, the they could have done, but, I mean, there's other people, and I've just asked people that have been in there all the time, and they say the police have con at least conducted themselves within the law in as much as the warrant, with regard to the warrants. Um, with, with regard to other laws, I think they're infringing, uh, you know, European laws and whatever is a different ball going. <laughs> no, they don't, that's why they tend to try and keep me sort of sweet and pacify me a little bit. Shut up, you bunch of criminals! So what were these, what were these people then? Um, these were the Meridian, your Meridian TV or something? BBC. Now they came and interviewed me while I was in there, did a nice very interview and I thought, this is fair enough. I thought they were police cameras first of all, Paul. But, me. Well, I gave him a good interview as I would give the police or anybody about the subject. Can I get a lift to the station? <laughs> yeah, they give the lift! <laughs> it looks as they've said to me basically, Chris isn't going to be in for long. They know I've got a bunch of keys on me here that opens the, the door. So what are they doing? <laughs> 
So you're back up and... Open as usual. Yeah. We're, we're down at the police station at 3.30 for the second time today. And we will keep going back every hour until, until people are out of themselves and yeah. back where they belong in our community.